democracy forum of kerala chapter i i am i kindly welcome everyone for this um, safety webinar i am denny savior uh, senior manager from carborundam universal limited i i kindly uh, welcome our eminent speaker shri venkatachari narasimhan chemical engineer and global certified safety consultant for kindly sharing his valuable time for sharing his knowledge with us for this session i kindly welcome all for this wonderful high session and now i kindly request hsc forum convener mr nayan nayar nandakumar for introducing our eminent speaker thank you denny uh, good evening to all welcome to everyone for this safety webinar uh, we have an eminent speaker uh, mr venkatachari narasimhan that was a chemical engineer with 50 years of professional experience i think uh, we are very lucky to have mr venkatachari mr narasimhan with us today uh, he is a very outstanding professional a walking encyclopedia on safety especially the process safety uh, arena uh, mr narasimhan has been uh, virtually most sought after speaker in most of the the safety conferences world over uh, today he has agreed to give a short talk not presentation short talk on hira uh, hazard identification and assessment uh, pro probably boiling out of this we expect a bigger presentation of a bigger duration because he needs a much more uh, time for uh, giving a detailed presentation of maybe 2 to 3 hours uh, for in future so we look forward to his presentation overall as a person he is a qualified chemical engineer with over 36 years in coromandel international limited as a senior executive operations he is having vast expertise in process safety controlling techniques in both mechanical engineering and instrumentation he specialized in ammonia process fertilizer utilities and safety he is a, a, a actively involved in safety audit risk assessment conducting hazard and hazard studies and implementing process safety management studies right now he is a consultant and advisor on environment safety and health for world bank He has written numerous articles and magazines to international as well as indian magazines on safety uh, safety field post covid i think he has been as i said the most sought after speaker he has conducted more than 40 webinars so far which includes uh, webinars in iit uh, iit is also he has been conferred membership honorary membership by the american institute of chemical engineers american safety professional association and safepedia of safety engineers canada so looking forward to a wonderful uh, learning process from the talk that mr uh, venkatachari narasimhan going to deliver uh, thank you very much sir for your time to be with us on a short notice and we definitely we would definitely consider to having you with us in future also for a more detailed presentation uh, uh, when we have a, a much bigger uh, planning in, uh, done for the national safety council kerala chamber uh, thank you over to a wonderful session over to you sir so i am very thankful to ananda kumar uh, he is also from our uh, sister concern carborundum universal uh, last time i missed it this time we ha i have made it because of thank his you. association uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to talk about uh, uh, last week only i uh, talked about process safety management system uh, of osha in for tamil nadu safety professional association this is my 43rd 44th webinar for the last four or five years so i am going to talk about hira what is hazard identification and risk assessment so what we today hira means hazard and what is safety 
safety and risk or brothers and sisters what is safety safety is a relative freedom free from disease or fire or floods or by any other means of accidents we should have safety in force anywhere whether it is a personal safety or uh, mechanical safety or anything industrial safety first suppose you go on the highway suppose how you are going on the path you trip and fall what will you do you have to see whether any uh, in the pathway you have to see any pebble or stone or you have to see that hinders your pro walking likewise suppose you go on the intersection you have to see the amber light and uh, so because so many vehicles will be crossing cross crossing the way you have to see the green light and you have to cross the yellow line likewise safety is always should be in force you cannot forget about safety and health health is also an important thing unless you have your health in custody under your care you cannot do anything i am a diabetic patient i have been taking medicine for the last 20 years i am my 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 health is under strict control i am waiting i am maintaining that 90 136 diabetic 90 below 120 and below 200 136 unless i if i don't care about my health what will be my i am 69 70 years i have been on the line for the last 50 years in this line without medicine how can you live that is likewise the safety is a important item you have to place full faith in safety automatically risk can be avoided and hazard can be avoided also so i am coming to the topic safety and health or focus on environmental safety in the workplace by reducing risk and hazard what is risk risk is a specific effect with specific period of time by a complex of probability and consequence of vulnerability what is co complex of probability and consequence of vulnerability suppose you are going on a highway you criss cross somebody else now i am talking about in india not in western country suppose you if a man criss cross the way what you have to do you have to steer the wheel to the right or left otherwise you get injured in the melee that is due to consequence of complex of probability you may not know what will happen suppose you criss cross the way you hit the person or you get injured in the melee so the complex of consequence of vulnerability you may not know what will happen so you must take care when you have risk suppose if there is an incident risk can be avoided that what i am say risk definition of hazard what is definition of hazard hazard means which can be of anything which is is it biological hazard or physical hazard or chemical hazard the chemical hazard means lot of poisonous gases emanating from the gas from the chimneys biological hazard dumping of waste nearby dwelling dwellings physical hazard you get injured because of pollution of the noise and sound other things so we should avoid hazard then environment environment naturally is it preventing pollution from other threats to the environment that that may be affected by it because there is recently madras chennai due to it's a flood prone zone area because it is chennai is 
below the sea, 10 meters below the sea. In another 30, 40 years, you don't know what will happen. It may be swallowed. The entire city may be swallowed. So environmental is the most important thing. We have done a environmental case study by the Ram Safety Consultants when I was with them. We have done a program about Kokinada, Vizag, Calcutta, and Chennai, and Cochin. So the sea is eroding the place. You must have constructive steps to avoid sea erosion. Because then the pollution, the most pollution cities in India is Delhi. Because of the haystack being burnt in the open, so the smog is coming to the Delhi area and gets polluted because of people getting a lot of uh, diseases that could not be avoided because, because of the former they get as well as, as the uh, crops are over. They burn the haystack. And because of that, smog is coming to the Delhi and getting followed. That is being avoided now. People are taking care of uh, uh, preventing uh, farmers to, to burn this haystack. So, hazard identification. Hazard identification is the process of each work area and the work task for the purpose of identifying which can inherent the job work, but not finished to the machine workshop, laboratories, transport maintenance, and retrographic lecture theaters and teaching spaces tasks include may not be limited visual equipment, hazardous steps, and or teaching not and so on in even in construction this process is finding out what calm has in the work task area so already i've talked about risk the likelihood of you to likelihood of harm injury or illness death damage may occur due to hazard this is due to complex of probability specific period with specific period of time due to complex of probability and consequence of vulnerability. Consequence of vulnerability we do not know. Complex of probability or driving the vehicle in case if any man comes in the opposite direction, he crisscross of the way you get, uh, you have to put the car to your right or left you know, in the melee, the air bubble, he escape, with the air bubble you can escape. Is, is a kind of hazard. So that, then we have the stiff use. Place safety in force, risk can be avoided. That doesn't mean you cannot avoid risk. In any factory, risk can be avoided to some extent, not up to the extent of 100%. If there is an incident, you can, there will be an accident. But if there is an incident, you can avoid risk. I will come to the later on. <coughs> later part of OJA, how it has developed, how the processes are analyzed, developed, and so on. Five step to risk assessment. Yeah, risk assessment is an important step in protecting your workers, your business, as well as applying with law. But helps you in the longer run. What doesn't matter? That doesn't matter. The ones with potential cost, real harms in, in straightforward measures can readily be. Control list, for example. Ensuring spillage are cleaned properly that do not slip. That is toolbox meeting. If there is a toolbox meeting, people come, people will form a meeting at some time they trip and fall. So you have to clean properly and meeting will be in good condition. And the spillage are cleaned properly and people do not sleep or cupboards are kept closed to ensure people do not trip. For most that people, simple, cheap, effective measures 
to ensure our most valuable asset your workplace is protected the law does not expect you to eliminate risk but you can be safe when your safety is in place safety is a relative freedom free from disease fire or floods or by any other means of action risk analysis this guide the law does not expect you to eliminate risk but you are required to protect people as far as practicum this guide with law to achieve that with a minimum of focus this is the only way to do your risk assessment that our method that work well for complex risk and circumstances risk analysis and identification the analysis risk analysis is a broad term that is used number of settings in instance the term reference to the evaluation of the potential that inherent upcoming transaction and identification of several different options that how to proceed in the business that risk analysis is one of the primary tools if you want to have if a man wants to do your business he is working in a factory so he resign his job after 5 years he has to take the prime example how to do the business when you want to start a business you must have sufficient funds and you have to study the pros and cons of the business how to do things how to do things before embarking on a business so same way suppose any entrepreneur suppose you want to start a factory or anything before embarking on something big factory or anything you must have some vision pros and cons procedure how to do thing preliminary work project work then he has to for 5 years or 10 times he has to sustain himself for the business after 10 years after starting the business then only he can reap the corn that is called risk analysis and identification so cannot start the factory just like that you have to do lot of project and uh, you have to recruit but people how to do things so many things out there as part of the man in how to proceed this the business risk analysis is one of the primary to you have to take care of yourself before embarking on business or industrial development about they want to start the factory there are so many preliminary investigation you have to do pros and cons how to start the factory how to invest money how to get back the money after 10 years then only you must have sustain, sustainable funds to carry on so as part of the managing health and safety must control the risk in your workplace to do this you have to think about what might cause the people decide whether or taking is double steps so i am coming so that i have given about what is hazard what is safety what is risk identification so we come to explanation how things about chemical safety because i cannot take a uh, uh, physical or so many things i am going to talk about how osha was born because because the personal thing which i have taken as a thing for you to tell about the first industrial revolution is taken place in 1912 then the world war started between 1912 and 1914 and 1919 because of the lot of industries came up the first industrial revolution started in 1912 but in the meantime the first world war started by the germans kaiser the german kaiser because of that nothing could be done faulty machines installed and lot of poisonous gases emanating from the chimney lot of people dying they don't know what to do
second the second revolution started in 1925 the same old story the second world war started i think 1939 and 1945 because of the hitler they wanted to dominate the entire world because of his failure again the same thing happened lot of accident happened and not reported and continued to occur in various industries across europe and the us people were not were not knowing what to do even though they were educated they simply dump out and out to evaluate thing and how can remove the anomalies of this faulty things accidents and deaths instead of death because of the poisonous gases coming out from the chimneys because of the pollution and hazard so they wanted to have a comprehensive policy uh, but before that the uh, same thing happened in 1984 the bhopal disaster and then Three Mile Island disaster, then Texas refinery blast, and then Fertil Texas fertilizer company ammonia compressor gave away. So I am telling. So I want to tell you the one one thing because of the Bhopal incident that has happened in India. and i'm telling about another incident about texas fertilizer company so what has happened in bhopal in 1984 in 1967 the union carbide major the american multinational company started two plants one at jammu and another at bhopal so they were manufacturing seven the pesticide product they were transporting the the raw material methyl isocyanide liquid from through tankers from jammu to bhopal by tankers So they wanted to decide to talk to start the plant in the Bhopal itself in 1979. So all preparation were made. The workers were not given PPE, personal protection equipment, for the plant for the work. So for the work to go inside the scrubbers and so on. Yeah, chemical engineer died of 30 percent burns. Was not given proper treatment. He died. Lot of mishap happened during installation of Bhopal plant. It was reported to the union, reported the to the management. The management didn't take care about the work of the employees. Lot of hazard taken place. Hazard. So you got to do proper hazard analysis. Not nothing. Safety was not in force. So. so there were three submerged underground tanks in which mic liquid is stored v10609 611605 two tanks were emptied out for production of sewing but one tank was remaining what you have to do you have to give nitrogen blanketing above the liquid because a submerged tank atmospheric storage tank above the mic liquid you must go nitrogen blanketing you must give because to take out the liquid you have to increase the nitrogen pressure and pull out the liquid from the tank that is the normal procedure they are adopting what has happened they have emptied out v609 v611 vessel 609 back in 611 the remaining p605 they were not able to take out the liquid because nitrogen blanket was packeting was not given for quite long time then that system was not working because of the uh, 
maintenance they have removed everything flat system then refrigeration system freon gas was not they were not getting so refrigeration is not working but still they were want to make up pesticide so that was the intention of the management they don't want to care about all these things the, on the particular night of december 4 1984 they wanted to produce pesticide but the liquid was that they wanted to take out the liquid 35 tons or 40 tons was getting stored so nitrogen blanketing was not given so the the day on which the this the thing happened one rogue worker was suspended according to the management's contention he there usually there will be fire hydrant fire hydrant lines throughout the factory when and there if there is any fire or leakage they want to quench or they put out the fire so what has that he has done put the hose pipe and put it to the drain point and knowingly or unknowingly he has done it as per the management contention union and the government of india says no it is not because of the uh, worker is due to management fault but we don't know whether we cannot discuss about it this thing has happened is happened the water from the hydrant line passed through the uh, drain point slowly uh, pierced through the mic liquid slowly because the mic is minus 2 degree outside is 30 degree ntp normal temperature pressure atmospheric temperature protrude through the mic liquid started boiling lot of evaporation lot of exothermic reaction took place so in retrospective the night on december 4 the, the pressure gauge was showing 10 psi that day they were checked the instrument on the night but the uh, instrument people said okay so at 10:30 or 12:30 it was showing 40 psi so there was a sudden thud on the top of the tank immediately it was one rep worker rushed and saw so that uh, there was a slab on that it has broken off so the supervisor said we will try we will take care of after tea time so in the meantime the mic started blowing off it went to 40 psi pierced through the prc the cr pressure relief valve was not serviced quite long time it has to 1.25 kg it has to blow but it has not resetted at 1.5 so the mic gas went started blowing off for two hours in the meantime lot of people died and a lot of i blurred because of the mic is the most poisonous gas the the incident was reported at 4:30 after two hours of leak then by that time by 7 o'clock everything happened 2000 people died instant instantly 25000 people got injured out of court settlement 450 million dollars settled by the management but has not reached the common common who has been affected that was the situation still the case is going on with the uh, union carbide us at the international court of law the hague netherlands the in indian government is fighting still people are suffering because of the leak that has killed so many people knowingly or unknowingly 2000 people but so many people died more than 30 to 40000 people we don't know that is the because of the process as our analysis because of the leak then another incident i want to tell you there is a texas fertilizer blast so there was a two compressor were running one compressor was became became because of small functioning of the compressor they were not able to do the thing what you have to do you have to depressurize the whole system and have to kept as a idle idle but they have not done it they have not is a centrifugal compressor that they could not do anything say they simply put it as an idle compressor two compressor were running so suddenly there was a blast of ammonia went through the compressor and killed lot of people died this is one of the first incident happened in texas 
fertilizer company. The two incident I told you, one is at India, another at, I can tell you a lot of things, uh, three mile island disaster, I don't have time to tell you how I can explain a lot of things about Chernobyl and so on, because of the main thing I have told you, Bhopal, and then Texas fertilizer blast. So they should have taken care, they should have depressurized the system, centrifugal system, centrifugal compressor, you have to depressurize uh, the system and close this suction and discharge valve, you know, drain the oil and have to keep for maintenance work. They have not done it. People died. So this is the thing. Then, so the hazard chemical process continued to pose a significant threat to employees that draws ire among the national community and nationally and also the U.S. So a lot of inquiries were made between June 1990 and uh, September 1992. A lot of inquiries made, uh, meetings were conducted, 4,296 page were written about under the U.S. administration of labor. That loss, so they made a R Act amendment, they brought it in 1990, along with R Act amendment in 1990. So, in Washington, so they made a comprehensive law called OSHA, under OSHA, Occupational Safety Health System Administration, under which 14 elements were born. And then it was frozen and then went on to now it is 17 or 20 elements. They have made it broader spectrum. Now it is 20 elements. 14, 17, 20. Now they have revised. First, it was 14 elements, under which a lot of things for any industry that will be. That 14 elements can be utilized for any industry, whether it is a chemical industry or process industry or uh, mechanical industry or washing industry, anything that can be accommodated. India, now that's the, the, the latest nation that has signed for the comprehensive law of Boja in November 2020. The government of India passed the bill. Now in, in India also, the OSHA, under OSHA, that, 14, uh, that is Process Safety Management System, it is in, it's a compulsory. First, it was introduced in US, then to uh, Europe, then in Middle East, now it is in India also. Then all throughout the world, that uh, Process Safety Management System is in work. So what I have to do, the main contents are regarding to hazard. Developed and written procedure identifying the workplace, any chemical and process hazard, equipment used in the process. Perform your workplace hazard assessment, including identification of potential resources of accidents. has a potential for catastrophic consequences in the workplace. Consult with employees and the representatives on the development, conduct of hazard assessment and of chemical accident prevention plan and to provide access to them and other reports are required. So you have to make things easier. Standard operating procedure, how things out the hazard, what, what will be the consequence, sequence, and so many things you have to do for anything. Establish a system used to respond to the workplace, to the work assessment finding, which shall prevent prevention, mitigation, and emergency system response. For any hazard analysis, you must have a data system, an emergency response system you must have. If there is, there is any leak, if there is any fire, you must have 
on site emergency off site emergency you must have the system and mitigation how to respond to the callers and you have you must have all these things is in the in the course preliminary azord analysis the risk management can be defined as the collection of cultural problems and structure that are directed realizing potential opportunities while managing adverse effect it can be a systematic application of management policies procedures and practices you must have if there is a risk management you must have procedures and policies you must adopt them according to the condition that involves the accident so i have got four things in proactive management they should envisage before the accident occurs they should be proper planning so they can do things better what is active management active management when the accident occurs they will analyze everything that is not the that is the full body of the management they cannot do that proactive should be there when there is a problem they sh they should envisage envisage and to do things better that preemptive management if all these things before hand when you establish a factory they have to do a hazard study before commissioning after commissioning what will be the things what you have to do so you have to do on sequence sequence existing proposal you have to do a hazard study wide hazard study with process engineers and so i am going to talk about hazard so hazard bring structure procedure and the criteria is mainly use of notes key and deviation words so before doing that i am talking about what is the five words of organic safety conviction compassion communication humility and humanity what is a conviction the conviction is the management should have conviction to do thing properly you must they must take if there is a risk they have to encounter how to do things before on hand that should be the conviction of the management they must take care of employees and the employee and the equipment they should take care of they should be having conviction to do things procedure safety enforced then only if you for safety you can avoid you can get your business done workers also will be happy and you have you can have plenty of money in your pocket what is compassion if a man does your job he do he be a mistake you cannot have you cannot simply leave him just like that you must put him in training and proper training and do things according to him then the management take care of him for some time and ask him to do the job legibly if he does that he can be a positive character positive mind positive management that is comes in behavior based safety behavior based safety should be there if you have positive character positive mind positive thinking you can avoid it everything you have to if you leak or you can take the immediate rest step you can avoid it what is compassion communication communication between the manager and the general manager and the workers you must have communication if there is any leak if any emergency problem if risk is involved then you immediately immediately to uh, you immediately call the manager or the senior management staff look after the problem everybody should know what is process and sop standard operating procedure what are the things that are involved everybody should be given training then toolbox of toolbox stop and so on thing you can avoid risk if there is a hazard take place you can avoid risk hazard can be of anything which can be changed and anything but that doesn't mean it is it if there is an incident 
accident has to happen. That doesn't mean that is the communication between the management and the workers should be there. You can avoid accidents and risk can be avoided. Then hazard that can be also uh, avoided because of the proper care taken by the management. I went to the uh, last last month. I went to Sipla. Scheduled drug. Scheduled drug. I, there I saw a lot of people working with bare hand. I told them, you must work with PPE only. So that is the situation. Then humility. One cannot boast himself that he knows everything. That should be avoided. He should talk to the worker level and he avoids the risk. Then the humanity. If a person does any mistake, you must take care of the person and see that he is pardoned by the management. Ask him to reform himself. Should be proper training and so on. So that is the how to avoid hazard, risk and uh, so many things. I am coming to Azab. What is Azab? Azab is a standard systematic examination of the complex placement or order to identify, evaluate problems that may report risk personal or to equip. If what is process safety and uh, occupational health safety? If it is a process safety, that is that hinders the development of process of the equipment. Mechanical integrity, you have to take place, you have to take care of the equipment. If there is a occupational health and safety, you have to take care of the health of the worker because of the hazard analysis. Hazard, because of the hazard, it can be affected both the equipment and the workers. If there is a leak in the equipment, automatically it helps this for the workers' health. So you should avoid both. You should place them at a standard way. You have to avoid uh, process integrity and health integrity. And uh, so it should be combined. Both should combine together. It should go parallel if you can avoid risk. So safety should be enforced. The intention of performing a hazard is to review the design, to pick up design and otherwise engineering issues that wise have been formed technique based on overall complex design. Suppose you want to start here. So I had ammonia atmospheric storage tank. So that cost 53.4 crores when I joined. Uh, in 1996, they they started in uh, Coromandel International Limit. Before that, they have done all hazard. Before commissioning, what to do? After commissioning, what will be the thing? Commissioning. So they have done all sort of systematic procedure using PI diagram with a process engineer. It is viewed a multidisciplinary team, series of meetings. The hazard technique is quantitative and aims to stimulate the participants to identify the potential hazard and operability problem, structure and direction, review the process, applying standard gate and prompts to review the each of the nodes. So there is a thing, piping and instrumentation diagram. Each node they have to, each pipeline, each controller between upstream and downstream, they have to take care of everything, structural things, node, guide word, so node means the guide work and the design intent. What is the design of the problem? What you have to do before commissioning, after commissioning, you have to do. That is hazard. The, the relevant international standard calls the team member to display intention and good for the meeting of judgment to be held in a climate of position, thinking, prior discussion, and using nuclear industry and software industry. Methods, guide words, team, what is that multidisciplinary consists of process engineer, mechanical engineer, general manager, uh, operating personnel, instrumentation engineer. They form a guide. So they have to do discuss things. They can do as a process operability studies in process as analysis. 
that is the one of the main element in osha protein element processes or others there you do as of study for commissioning before commissioning and after commissioning what will be the things what the consequence sequence existing and proposed the method the applied applies to complex process which design intention is available for process plan whether it is a mechanical process or batch process or uh, continuous process for e the for process the nodes are chosen so that each meaningful design intent can be specified they are commodity commonly indicated on piping instrument that's what i taught pi diagram PI legend that you have to use in each note the guide words and the process parameters to identify all potential deviation of the design intent for each direction the team identifies feasible causes and likely consequences and whether an action to install additional safeguard is necessary to reduce the risk to an acceptable level the performance of the assault team should get given the best team members of the road the, the best member who does the job beautifully and excellently they must be given best job the number of notes to be reviewed so you have got guide words on which that have to that is called mla pro no flow more flow as well as part of reverse engineering in order to find deviation the team applies systematical order that is no mla pro a set of guide words to each of the process consider appointment parameter that is called flow pressure level and volume volume increases pressure increases if pressure increases temperature increases if the temperature increases the level comes down a little bit but but if the same level will be maintained so guide word meaning no flow complete negative design intent more flow quantitative increase less flow quantitative increase as well as quantitative modification increase reverse when the, there is a reverse flow what will happen logical opposite design other than complex system. we don't know what will happen if there is a reverse flow or other than if it is a if there is a bypass if you open the bypass if there is a level in the uh, absorber level if it increases 100% you have to open the bypass system then see how you have to attend the controller so what will happen you have to see a lot of things early related to clock time late what will happen before relating clock how do you do a soft study and identification then we come to failure mode effect analysis what is failure mode effect that is the failure mode effect analysis systematic structure technique for failure analysis it was developed by reliability engineers in the 1950s to study the of from mall function of military system the step reliability it involves reviewing as many component assemblies sub system as possible to identify failure mode and that causes effects there are numerous variation of such worksheet what is functional design process if there is a you want to uh, you are doing a cycle you are manufacturing a cycle small example you want to check the race bike you are doing it in a velodrome you are testing it on the velodrome when you apply the left brake that has to come for stoppage that it, it, it has to get stopped but it is not getting stopped 
then you have to apply front base. Why that is this failed? Because you are applying left left hand side brake. Why it is getting failed? You have to apply the criticality. Why it is failing? But because when you go in the velodrome for checking, when you apply the left brake, it is not getting stopped. But when you apply the hand brake, right hand system, then only gets stopped. What is the failure of the system? Then you have the criticality of the failure of the component. So because the, there is a design flaw in the process. So you got to make it rectified. Suppose the same way in a core assembly point. Suppose everything goes well. When it come to the assembly point, you get to paint it. There is a the, uh, the door of the core damage gets damaged when it comes to the painting shop. How it has damaged? How why why here it is got damaged? Then you have to analyze so many things. That is a criticality of the factor. So that is a design intent. So functional design process. So because I cannot give you the FMA is a big thing, big chapter. It applies to uh, so many industries, batch process, mechanical process, so many things. Continu then uh, continuous chemical process, so many things. I have given you short because the time is very short. One hour only I have been given. I started at 3.35. Now it is time is 4.25. So in another 10 minutes, they will ask me to stop. So I cannot explain you so many things because I have condensed the subject in which I can give you the maximum output regarding higher. That comes poultry analysis. Is that FTA? Poultry analysis is analyzed everywhere in mechanical industry, process industry, software industry, and so on. If there is a top-down detective failure in which the system of a using Boolean algebra. This is how you Boolean, what is Boolean algebra? There is a complex number and natural number. Complex number 0, 1, 2, 3. Natural numbers 1 to 10. Using that algorithms, you have to design certain logical top-down failure analysis. If there is an incident, you have to analyze it through process engineers, mechanical engineers, and they will they will find out what is happened, what is the fault happened. That is called the fault tree analysis. If that if there is there is an input, there is an output. If there is input failure, there is output failure. That is A plus B equal to C plus D. The mass of the reactants equal to mass of the products formed. If if in a chemical combination, the mass of the Reactant equal to the mass of the products. If there is ammonia, so if you would take in a chemical process catalytic reactor CO2 plus CO plus H2O in catalytic is Fe3O4. What will you get? CO, CO2 plus H2, 52%. Because the catalytic is catalytic reactor is Fe3O4. FeO, Fe2O3, you get hydrogen. CO2 is absorbed. That is H2 is sent to gas separation unit where you mix with nitrogen. In, uh, nitrogen is washed with, combines with L2 plus 3H2 will give you two, twice, two molecules of ammonia. There also you have catalytic reactor, Fe3O4, FeO, Fe2O3. There, there you maintain 550 degree centigrade, you compress the gas and send to refrigeration. Here, the, from naphtha crude gas is burnt in the reactor 3 using steam, oxygen, and naphtha. Naphtha CN, H2N plus 2, H2O, steam, plus oxygen. There you get the split. It is the oxygen, steam, and it split into CO2, CO plus H2O, and CO2, etc. B3. Then you get in catalytic reactor converted it to hydrogen then it goes to yeah, co2 getting absorbed goes to the gas separation unit there uh, co2 is completely removed then hydrogen pure hydrogen sent to synthesis this is a castle process there you get uh, nitrogen compressed with ammonia you get ammonia liquid this is this happening is taking place that is what 
poultry animals out this their development if there is an input there will be output if there is a input failure there will be output failure so you have a plus b the force of the reactants equal to mass of the product you have to see it was done if there is if there is a plan going in the high aeroplane about the fuselage fails you that immediately they get down at a small any airport then you have to find out the root cause analysis of the fuselage leak there you have to do poultry analysis there is an incident that doesn't mean accident should happen so that is called poultry analysis even tree analysis even even tree analysis is a forward bottom logical modeling for both successors if there is if that incident if it combines together it makes one incident that can be proved by a team of operating personnel and the engineers then you can get fair amount of success even tree analysis you get a modeling because in 1983 what has happened 1981 apollo where you how that you bob down then they were able to make the uh, they they follow that in god splashed in the mid sea because of the poultry analysis they develop and immediate then i come to biotype by boat analysis the combination because i am going out of the way uh, because our time has boat analysis consists of poultry analysis if it is combined both then you can get an analysis that you can do bow tie analysis consequ analysis if if there is a pump lost its prime you can do consequ analysis if the suction pressure is more than the vapor pressure of the liquid then you can do consequ analysis how it has happened so there is so many incident happened once it has happened in my prime working day where the ammonia pump lost its prime i took within one and a half of the depresses the whole system when i got retirement on the retirement day i did it i got the accolade within one and a half hours i did the job and uh, export and the job was done that too because the ammonia pump to depression it take four to five hours i did it in one and a half hours and did the job on the concluding day that is on my retirement day that is a big thing big issue then lofa layer of protection analysis suppose if a man goes with a gun to the airport there you there you cannot do anything if he goes into the airport in the he get caught into the plan there he will not be find anything when he got at the port of entry there you get caught so that is layer of protection analysis so there are so many process adam analysis that is a risk assessment so there if there is hazard identification whether it is biological or uh, chemical and physical hazard you can what is a physical uh, hazard you can contain with risk assessment method so these are the things i conclude my part i am giving thanks to nanda kumar of uh, for bond of universal my sister company thank for my small talk on hira hazard identification and risk assessment thank you uh, thank you very much sir uh, i kindly request a uh, participants uh, to clarify uh, their doubts if any if you have any doubts you can uh, type in the chat box also or else you can unmute yourself and ask questions oh uh, dear sir uh, so okay. we have got a we have got a question uh, from uh, mr arun bk okay. uh, sir he was asking that 
in hasab study when we are selecting modes in the study system can we randomly select nodes and conduct study or we need to do any standard procedure no we have got standard procedure that is uh, no mla pro that is no flow more flow as well as part of reverse against we have got our standard procedure that is uh, synonym that you have to use flow pressure for every flow everything you have to do for volume you have to do for temperature you have to do uh, level you have to do every synonym you have to do this six that synonym you have to use no mla pro this is a standard guide words for any designer if there is a controller for a small example if you want to do a upstream what you have to do if there is a controller 50% open what will happen if the if there is a leak on the downstream side what will happen if there is a leak on the upstream what will you have to do all sort of things all the guide words you have to use all synonyms you have to do if there is no flow what will happen if there is more flow what will happen if less flow what will happen if there is more pressure what will happen so you have to analyze everything that is called systematic no mla pro that is the guide words that you have to use for consequence sequence existing and proposed oh, thank you very much sir uh, for your clarification i think so i don't would have got clarified with the sir's answer uh, there was another question from nayar nanda kumar sir okay <laughs> uh, uh, when do we do has up and when do we opt for hazard study no whenever you want to do hazard hazard identification you have to do if you want to do process that analysis the hazard is a must when you go for hazard hazard identification you have to do hazard also that is process hazard analysis process operability study when you have hazard analysis hazard identification of any anything which is a gas or flow uh, if uh, gas phase or solid phase or liquid phase the weather we that doesn't mean you have to do as a for anything thank you sir thank you very much sir uh, any 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 more questions dear participants participants can unmute and ask also need not type no questions denny okay sir okay sir uh, uh uh now i uh, take up thank the opportunity given me for uh, delivering the vote of thanks for this uh, uh, eminent personalities uh, who are available here uh, first of all i heartfully thank thank sri venkatachari narasimhan sir for his knowledge enriched and thought provoking speech he detailedly explained the basics of hira hasap failure mode effective analysis then fault tree analysis then event tree analysis then he touched upon bout tree analysis and layer of protection analysis with proper examples with clarity dear sir we are surely enriched with the knowledge i Th thank uh, Shri Nayan and the Kumar sir for giving me uh, HSC convener for giving me opportunity for coordinating this webinar, and I thank HSC forum for giving me uh, this opportunity. Uh, I thank our dear participants. Without us, this knowledge enrichment wouldn't have happened to all of us. Uh, thank you very much, all. Uh, thank you very much. How many people attended, uh, Mr. Kumar? We had close to 27, uh, 27 participants from across the uh, companies of Kerala. Okay. And out of Kerala, also a couple of people are there. I'm not sure from which companies they are. Okay. Possibly okay. from uh, from the other groups of message has gone. So, do you enjoy the uh, today's talk? definitely definitely we look forward to your great uh, uh, i could understand uh, 
why you desisted from a presentation because uh, the time constraint is very much there. You're so passionate. Oh, yeah, you have talked about uh, the topic. Uh, we would definitely uh, look forward to a more engaging session next time when uh, we could afford more time and more more uh, wider participation of the people also. So this is a normal safety evening talk. Again, we look forward to your time and dedication. In fact, uh, yeah, yeah, add, uh, your energy, your passion and vibrancy, you are so dedicatedly following at this age. Hats off to you. Keep it up, sir. <laughs> okay, okay. I am for safety. That's all because I am a chemical engineer. I am doing a lot of things. There is a 44th webinar I am doing the last six years. It's okay. It's my patient. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, thank you.